Hi there, I'm Daniel Weisberg, Analytics Advocate at Google, and I'm here to present a new project that I've been working on with my colleague Eduardo Cerveto Carvalho, Web Analytics Specialist at Google. And the project is about integrating Google Analytics with Google Forms so that you can send requests to Google Analytics from within Google Forms. And the objective of this project is for people, for you know, small, medium businesses, to integrate their offline behavior with their online behavior. And the example that I, I like to use is, for example, a company spending $1,000 with AdWords, and they send people to their website where, where customers can download coupons for offline purchases. And it's really important to understand how much revenue this $1,000 brought to the to the company, not to the website, and we provide a way to do that using Google Forms, which is a very intuitive uh, interface and a very easy way to, to, to update uh, Google Analytics. Now, how we're going to do that, first of all, let me share a screen. And first of all, I think the most important thing is to think very profoundly about the, which data do you need. So for example, now let's say you have campaign data for people uh, coming to the website and you have their behavior data on the website that you use Google Analytics to track. And what else do you need from the store to send to Google Analytics so that you can have a full and comprehensive uh, set of data? I think in this case you would need, for example, a coupon ID. You can use as a customer ID as well to merge the data between online and offline. You would need the revenue that the customer generated in the store. And also uh, I'm adding another dimension, which is the store location. I think it would be interesting to know as well. So let's take a look how to do that. First of all, you'll go to drive.google.com and you can create a new form. Now let's choose a nice template, the gray template, okay. Now let's see, the first the first field that we want people to fill, our store employees, we want them to fill coupon ID, right. And let's help them just with the format that should be used, one, two, three, four, five. Now I want the text, right text field and I would like to add the data validation that it must be a number and if the employee enters something that is not a number he will get the, a custom error text which is uh, the coupon ID is a five digit number done let's add the second item which is the revenue how much did the customer spend? Now that's again a text, and again, must be a number. This number. Done. And now let's add the st store location. Let's use a multiple choice question. What is the store location? Multiple choice, choice one. We have a store in London. We have a store in Mountain View. We have a store in Sao Paulo. And we have a store in Tel Aviv. Those are the four stores. Now we have a form, and those are the questions that we we need the employees from the store to, to answer when someone submits a coupon. Now, how do we send this to Google Analytics? First of all, you should go to this URL and scroll down. Sorry. Scroll down. Now you have this script here down on the page copy it and now when you get to the form click on tools script editor blank project 
erase everything and paste what you just copied let's save it now and we'll give it a name which will be coupon purchase okay cool now first of all go to your Google Analytics account and get your tracking ID number and update it here this is mine so we are using the coupon ID let's call it coupon ID which we're using the CID parameter from the measurement protocol and the CID is, is the customer ID and it's the number that we'll use to link the online to offline behavior and it will be the coupon ID in this case the transaction revenue which is TR this is the, the parameter and the transaction affiliation which is TA now just I, I didn't uh, introduce you to, to uh, the measurement protocol. The measurement protocol is part of Universal Analytics which is a, a set of new technologies that we are developing to help businesses understand the full customer journey and, and it helps for example we can now make analysis based on user and not visits which was the case just a few months ago and the measurement protocol enables us to send requests to Google Analytics from anywhere not just browsers not just apps from anywhere that you you have access to the internet you can send a request to Google Analytics and what we're going to do is to use a form that every time that people fill in this form will send data to through the measurement protocol to Google Analytics so that's the objective of, of this whole uh, uh, integration and so here I'm sending the coupon ID which is customer ID let's call it customer ID and the transaction revenue and transaction of uh, affiliation. Now, just just to mention what's here on this code as well. Apart from those three parameters that we are sending as uh, responses, we are sending the tracking ID that I mentioned just now, the version of the protocol, which is version one right now, and the CID. So, if you don't have a customer ID, you could use this. Just remove these two backslashes and then it would send a, a random number to Google Analytics instead of a customer ID because you have to send a customer ID now the transaction here you, you get to choose the event the hit type which I, I chose transaction because I want to send the, the value that the customer purchased on the store but you could use for example an event as well or a page view which also could be nice and apart from that since I have to send a transaction ID and I don't have a transaction ID right now I'm just sending a random number so that's the math random and I'm sending the Z value which is uh, to avoid uh, cache this request so that's the script let's save it now if you go to resources all your triggers now the first time you create this you won't have any triggers so let's just no trigger set let's click on it and then you have track form every time that there is a submission the the script will run and that's what we want so let's click on save we need authorization let's continue so if you want to use the script you need to give this authority authorization to the script accept and that's done so let's close it so now we have this form that every time that we fill this form there will be a request updating Google Analytics and you can see here this will be the final form so for example here one two three four five I spent thirty dollars in London submit that's it a request was sent to Google Analytics with with this information well the only thing that is really really important is that you must be sure that people fill the form every time the data is uh, available for them or in our case that uh, every time that someone uh, uses a coupon 
and that's it. You'll be using you get all the information on Google Analytics. So I hope you you take advantage of it and it helps you to optimize your business. And happy analyzing. Thank you very much.